Mr. Golan. What kind of a bank are you running there? How could I be overdrawn? I'm the only one who writes checks in that account outside of my wife, and I haven't written... Uh, oh, she, she did. Oh, she did. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Halt! <laughs> Come back here, Mrs. Vanderbilt. <laughs> Pray tell. What department store are you going to invade today? I'd like to know so I can buy stock in their company. Here we go again. A lovely little daytime drama entitled How I Drove My Husband to the Poor House. You think you're kidding, huh? I want to tell you something. You've got my checking account in a state of shock. Oh, for goodness sake, just because I bought a pair of green suede gloves. That's what you bought? Yes. I told that Golan he was wrong. Oh, uh, and, and just a few little accessories to go with them. Yeah, like what? <laughs> like uh, a bag and shoes and a hat. Huh. And a dress. <laughs> you sure you didn't get green suede convertible to go with it? Oh, still. Now, you listen to me, Irish. You got to stop writing checks. For one month, I don't want you to write a single check off, please, sweetheart. Give me a chance to get even, huh? <laughs> If that's the way you want it, you're the boss. If you don't want me to write any more checks, I won't write any more checks. Good girl. I'll charge it. No, you won't charge it. Charging is spending, Kathy. Boy, you're pretty fast with a buck lately, you know that? Well, you're making it. Well, you're gonna win the race. <laughs> I should think that you like buying things for your wife. Well, I do like buying things for you. Things like meat and bread and potatoes. Oh. Clancy. <laughs> You come back here, I'm talking to you. I'm just going to answer the door. <laughs> Hello there. Hello, Phil. Bye, Phil. Kathy, come back here. <laughs> you come in here this instant, young lady. Yeah, yeah, don't go away. I need your opinion. Oh, if it's about spending money, ask her. She's an expert. <laughs> How do you like these? Oh, Phil, what absolutely stunning earrings. Are they real? Honey, would I fly tourist? <laughs> who's the special somebody who's going to get these? Oh, nobody too special. A gal I met yesterday, I'm taking her out tonight. I thought it'd be nice, you know. You only met her yesterday, and tonight you're giving her these? Well, honey, you know what I say. Beautiful women deserve beautiful things. Beautiful women deserve beautiful things. That's what I say. Isn't that a wonderful saying? <laughs> I got another saying. My agent has a big mouth. What's the matter? Is it wrong to shed a little sunshine into some girl's drab life? It is if it costs money, according to some people. Well, some people don't care about money because they don't have to work for it. Just a moment. Can I take a short Gallup poll and find out what it is I stepped into here? I'm the culprit, Phil. It seems I shook the Williams National Bank to its foundation. I bought a pair of gloves. <laughs> <laughs> you cheapskate. <laughs> sure, laugh. What do you care about money? You're just like her. You don't have to work for it. You just collect commissions. Just a doggone minute. How did I get lumped into this non-working category? You're an agent, aren't you? So? I rest my case. <laughs> Would you answer one question for me, my friend? This money you're complaining about her spending, how would you get it if it wasn't for me? If it wasn't for me, going out digging up jobs for you all the time, digging up jobs, me. Really? Yeah. And what did my little man do with his shovel today? <laughs> did you dig up that TV special from Willoughby? Oh, come on, be reasonable. Dan, you know I couldn't do anything about that today. Why not? Didn't have time. Why not? I was shopping for the earring. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what a lucky fellow am I. I got an agent who drives me nuts and a wife who's driving me to the poorhouse. Oh, I had no idea your financial situation was so desperate. Well, it is. Well, maybe I better get a job and earn some money of my own. <laughs> that would be the day you get a job. You don't think it's possible, hmm? No, I take it back. You could get a job. You could be a lady astronaut and be the first wife to spend her husband's money on the moon. <laughs> my dear husband. Before you condescended to be my lord and master, I got along very well. No kidding. I was a receptionist, a nurse, and a secretary. Oh, is that so? A secretary? You mean yes. you took dictation? I certainly did. I didn't know that. 
Well, there's lots of things you don't know about me. Well, uh, take a letter to my agent. Dear Mr. Brokaw, unless you spend more time getting me jobs and less time buying earrings, you no longer will have a hook-nosed client. <laughs> According to you, I don't earn my keep. Glad you're man enough to admit it. Danny. I think that you are very lucky to have a brilliant, shrewd agent like Phil. And right back at you, Kathy. I think he is very lucky to have an intelligent, charming wife like you. Why, you would be an asset to any business organization. Oh, I think that's very sweet of you, Phil. That's all right. That's what I think. You know what I think? What? I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Hold everything. I want to make a statement. Kathy would be a definite asset to any business organization. <laughs> what does it mean? Oh, so I'm aging. You've been with me for 15 years. You don't even know what that means. Then you act. Now what does it mean? You just made a statement. She would be a definite asset to any organization. So? Well, you got an organization. Why don't you make her a definite asset? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Gloria's going on vacation. You're going to need a girl for a while. Grab, pal. She's such a gem. Go ahead. Well, I, uh, I... I, uh, I, uh... Go ahead. Go on. You open your big mouth. Just a minute. I would be glad to have her working for me if she were on the level, if she really meant it, but she doesn't mean it. She doesn't want a job. Oh, boy, there's a cop-out if ever I heard I one. I am not copping out. I'm just not accustomed to thrusting jobs on people who don't really want it. If she wanted a job, I would be glad to have her with me. I'd give her a job like that. You really mean that, Phil? Of course that... I mean it. Well, that's very sweet. I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. She could have a job with me like that. Wonderful. I accept. <laughs> I, uh... Philip, y your mouth is up. Uh, yeah. Well... Why don't you close it and say something, do you? Know? <laughs> Go ahead, get out of here. I don't have to get out of anything. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to find a way to express my gratitude. Because I'm happy to have her with me. Kathy, you have got a job. I think this is going to be a good thing all around. What time? Nine o'clock Monday morning? I'll be there on the dot. Over my dead body. Oh, well, that'll make me a little late. I hate to leave a messy apartment. Now, well, if you come downtown with me, I'll introduce you to, to your desk. Oh. Yes, Phil. I, I, I mean, Mr. Brokaw. Kathy, will you come in, please? I want to dictate a letter. Uh, certainly, right away. Isn't this exciting? My very first letter. Uh, honey, don't you think you better take your notebook? Oh, there's my notebook. How silly of me. And a pencil would help, too. Oh. <laughs> of course. It works better with a point. Oh. The sharpener's over there. Oh, thank you. Look, Howie, when I, when I represent an actor, I go all the way. Yeah. No, I told Pasternak your salary was $1,000, and that's what you're going to get. Well, you know and I know that you only get seven fifty, but Pasternak doesn't know it. <laughs> so he's going to pay you $1,000. No, Howie, Howie, don't thank me. After all, I'd rather get 10% of 1000 than 10% of seven fifty. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, I'll call you later. Hi. Hi. Here I am. Good. Book, pencil, everything. Nice. Hey, you can take a letter to um, Mr. Richard Olink, going to Boulevard, et cetera, oh. and say, uh, Dear Dick, concerning the Anderson manuscript, I... Uh, just a moment. After Dear Dick, do you want a comma or a colon? <laughs> colon? Colon? Colon. 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 Dear Dick... Colon. <laughs> Uh, concerning the Anderson Manuscript, I want... What's the matter? Men. What? Well, on one hand, you write, Dear Dick, which is rather friendly. And then you follow it right up with a colon, which is, uh, ugh. <laughs> colon is... Ugh. Yes, it, it's sort of, uh, cold and formal. I always think that a comma is so much warmer. Uh, yeah. Well, then you go right ahead and use a nice, warm comma. Good. <laughs> Dear Dick. Comma. Dear Dick 
concerning the Edison manuscript. <laughs> Concerning the Anderson manuscript, I want you to know that our option is about to lapse on it, and unless we uh, take uh, some... Just a minute. Could you go slower? <laughs> Going too fast for you? A little bit. Read back what you got. Dear Dick, yeah. come. Go ahead. Well, that's as far as I got. <laughs> Hey, maybe you'd like me to write out this whole thing in longhand and give it to you. Would you? I think that's a marvelous idea. Buzz me when you have it. Oh, oh, by the way, I straightened out the Howie Leaves deal for you this morning. You straightened it out? Yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Pasternak called and said he wanted to check on his salary. Yeah? He said you quoted him $1,000. That's right, $1,000. Oh, you made a mistake. I did? Mm -hmm. I checked the records, and his last salary was $750. But I straightened the whole thing out. I told him that you'd been so busy lately that you were probably just confused, and that his regular salary was $750. <laughs> Mr. Pasternak was so pleased, he said he was going to do business with you all the time. <laughs> Wait until Danny hears that I got you out of trouble on my very first day. How can she do it, Louise? How can a wife desert her husband and children and take a job in an office, leaving her family with nobody to look after? What am I, the invisible man? <laughs> you know what I mean, Louise. I mean... I'm a full-grown man. I can take it, but the kids, I mean, haven't you noticed Rusty and Linda, how, how depressed and gloomy they are already? What? Oh, oh hi, Dad. I didn't know you were up yet. Oh, Isn't it a beautiful day? Yeah. Look, boy, <laughs> what? I don't blame you for being bitter. Bitter? Look, son, you don't have to put on an act for me. I know how you feel down deep inside. After all, there's, there's a certain something that a boy can only get from his mother. Oh, that! Well, don't worry. I borrowed all the money I need from her last night. Thanks. <laughs> yes, sir. There goes the orphan of the storm, staggering out of heartbreak house. Well, he, he, he's older. He can take it. But what about the baby? Oh, good morning, Daddy. Good Boy, morning. are we going to have fun at school today. Oh, honey, don't take on so. We hate to see you looking so miserable. <laughs> You're so funny. Why don't you go on television? <laughs> Darling, I, I know just how you feel. Mommy working in that big office. Oh, yeah, isn't it exciting? What? <laughs> yeah, and guess what she said? I can go down and visit her at the office. We can have lunch in a fancy restaurant. I can hardly wait. By the way, bye. 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 <laughs> Well, she's just a kid. What does she know? Oh, Mr. Williams, there ain't but one person around here that's miserable, and that's you. Now, if you're so worried about it, why don't you go down there and ask her to quit? You expect me to beg? Well, you're the only one that wants her to stop. Well, you don't know me at all. All the years you've been with me, you don't know me at all. I happen to have a little something called pride. Uh-huh. Spelled M-U-L-E. <laughs> What does F-I-R-E-D spell? Let's see. Same by the bell. By the bell. Well, it ain't my boss's boss. How to do? Come right on in if you don't mind living dangerously. Why don't you go in the kitchen and practice your cooking? It hasn't been so hot lately, you know. Well, I suppose you get a standing ovation every time you perform. <laughs> What's the matter? Hmm? You upset about something? Me? Yeah. Oh, no, I just... Having a little, uh, family argument with Louise. <laughs> it's nothing. Oh, because I thought if you were upset about Kathy working for me, well, I could get somebody else. Well, uh, no, no. <laughs> Why should I be upset about that? You're not. Huh? Oh, certainly not. You can level with me, you know. I, I, I don't like coming in between a husband and his wife, so if, uh... The thing bothers you, just say so and, well, I'll get another girl. Well. Yeah. 
No, 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 no. Look, if she's happy in a job, let her have the job. No. Well, I gotta admire your attitude. It's very civilized. Not, not every husband would, uh, would let his wife hang around an office like mine having a ball. <laughs> having a ball? Well, yeah, you know how it is in my office, all those handsome young actors trooping through all the time. <laughs> huh? And you know how actors are when they, when they see a pretty girl, a secretary like Kathy. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> what do you mean, come on? Don't you remember how it was when you were a young actor before you got married? Is that bad? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Well, I'm, I'm not worried about it for me. I'm... I'm worried about Kathy. I'm, I'm sure it annoys her. <laughs> <laughs> you cut that out! <laughs> oh, no, I, I mean Kathy doesn't let those actors annoy her. You bet she does. She loves it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. After all, Danny, down in my office, she's got excitement, glamour, attractive surroundings, and what's she got here? Nothing but four walls and you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Could you tell me something? Why did you come up here today? To set your mind at ease. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. Oh, say, did uh, we hear from Danny yet? No. Why, were you expecting to hear from me? Yeah, I got a hunch we'll be hearing from him. <laughs> oh, Phil. Uh, I mean, Mr. Brokaw. Yeah? You know that frivolous blonde creature you gave those earrings to? Yeah, oh, boy. <laughs> well, she was here a little while ago and said oh. that she had a date with you this evening. Mm hmm But I told her that you were out of town and had to cancel it. <laughs> you canceled my date for the night? Yes, I did. Why? Phil, come now. She's far too young for you. <laughs> Hi, Mr. William. Hi, Margo. Where are all the handsome young men? Huh? Nothing. nothing. Kathy and her? Yes. I guess it's okay if I go in. No, I wouldn't go in there right now. I think Mr. B is having a few unkind words with her. Why, right, something wrong? Well, let's put it this way. She's certainly making her presence felt. <laughs> you mean he's unhappy with her? Well, I think she's taking her title executive secretary a bit too literally. I mean, she's making decisions and about things she shouldn't... Oh... I'm sorry. She is your wife. No, 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 please. Come on, tell me, tell me. Well, it's not very flattering. Well, all the more reason why I want you to tell me now. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on, Margaret. We're old friends. Please, what is it? Well, she's driving Mr. B a little daffy. Of course, he drives easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, anyhow, right now, he sent out an emergency call trying to find Gloria down in Florida somewhere. <laughs> Now it all adds up. Well, I'll be right in, sir. I, I hope I haven't spoken out of turn. Oh, no, ma'am. You spoke just in the nick of time. Remind me to do something nice for you someday. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, whom do you want to see? I would like to see Mr. Brokaw. Whom shall I say is calling? Oh, look, Mr. Pasternak, she made a mistake. She looked in the wrong file. She got the... Uh, hold on a minute, will you, Mr. Pasternak? Uh, no, sweetheart, l listen to me, will you please? Uh, the, she's a new girl. She didn't know. She had no business canceling. Honey, would I have given you those earrings if I didn't respect you? <laughs> hey, hold on. Uh, Mr. Pasternak, uh, I'll have to call you back. We're gonna have to talk about this. We'll have lunch. I I'll call you. So first chance I get. Oh, yeah, bye. Uh, sweetheart, she's all wrong. I'm telling you, she made an assumption. Would I say a thing like that about you? After all, would... Oh, uh, I I'll have to call you back. Uh, a client is uh, here for a business discussion. Uh, hello, Dan. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, I, uh... 
I've been thinking about what you told me this morning. It's got my mind going like a merry-go-round. Eh? Yeah, I know what you mean, because I've been thinking, too. Huh? Yeah. And I've come to a conclusion. Danny, I am a rat. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Yeah, I am. I am. After all, think what I did. Came into your home and took your wife, the mother of your children, away from that home just because I needed her here. Let's face it, Danny, I'm, I'm a, a home wrecker. <laughs> Wouldn't go that far, I... That's the way I feel, and I, and I won't feel right about this until I've straightened myself out with you. Danny, much as I need her here, important as she is to my organization, I gotta do what's right. Danny, I'm giving your wife back to you. <laughs> you you do that for me? Yeah. Can't let you do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you need her so bad. That bad I don't need her. Oh, sure, you're just trying to be nice no. to me, that's all. I'm not trying to be nice. Wait a minute, Philly, don't you suppose I've searched my own soul? Don't you suppose that I know I've been selfish as far as Kathy's no, concerned? you selfish. I certainly no. have been selfish, trying to deny the girl a few moments of glamour and excitement instead of... What does she need it for? Tying her down to, to, to the drudgery of just four walls and me. Good <laughs> lovely house you got in oh, you. I... You're a great husband. No, Daddy. <laughs> Your house is a mess. You need a bag. Well, it isn't. Louise looks after the kids, and I can take care of myself. We're getting along all You're right. You're just trying to be nice. I'm just trying to do the right thing. That's you it. hate me. <laughs> no, I, I, I love you. Then take her back. I can't stand around <laughs> I, how was I supposed to know you felt that way about Kathy working for me, Danny? Gee whiz, I, I know, but the way you talked, I, I didn't know you were just putting up a front. What can I do? Oh, come on now, Danny. Pull yourself together. You're a grown man. Don't behave like that. All right. Well, I guess the only thing for me to do is find some excuse to fire her. I'll do the best I can. So long, Danny. You don't have to fire me, Phil. I quit. Kathy, how how long have you been standing there? I heard everything. Oh. I never knew Danny felt that way about my working. Neither did I till just now. Well, Kathy, I think perhaps you'd. Better go home where you're needed. Oh, Phil, thank you for understanding. <laughs> oh, John! What is it, baby? Why didn't you tell me how huh? you felt? I never would have taken this job. Why are you crying? Oh, honey, being with you is the most important thing in the whole world oh, to me. Sweet. And if I hadn't heard you on the phone just now... <laughs> I love you. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, quick, Kathy, did you get something? 